Hey everybody, my name's Jay and you're watching Plasma Channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to Plasma Nation. Some might say I have a bit of a passion for plasma physics and high voltage. So with the winter season approaching, I wanted to dig just a little bit deeper into the more mystical side of plasma physics. In fact, there's one thing I have always wanted to build, always wanted to shoot a video on, and it is just the most spectacular display of high voltage physics. It, you know what? Let's just roll the B-roll. What you just saw is called Curlian Photography. And coming up on Plasma Channel, I'm gonna talk about what exactly this is, how you can do it yourself, and what you can do with it. Now, if you've ever played with plasma globes, which I assume you have, then you've likely seen this phenomenon before without even realizing it. Sure, touching the globe makes streams of plasma, but ever noticed your glowing skin? Curlian photography is a novel approach to creating images that uses the same fundamental principles as what happens in that plasma globe. It just takes it a step further. It's brilliant. It takes advantage of the fact that combining high voltage with sharp points, like the tip of these pliers, creates corona. And corona produces light, so essentially Curlian photography uses plasma to create an image. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. In fact, anything conductive at all can make these coronal images. And the fascinating part is the more textured the object is, the more detailed the image. You can photograph knives, pipes, coins, jalapenos, drill bits, silver chains, screwdrivers, circuit boards, and even apples. They all look breathtaking. Full footage of all those objects you just saw will be later in the video, but for now, just know that this entire phenomenon is possible because of a really cool concept called capacitive coupling, but I'll touch on that later. Now, I had to custom build my Curlian setup, which took a little while, but I documented the whole thing, so let's switch to the time lapse. Usually, these things are made of glass, but I have a thing for acrylic. This alone is the backbone of the device. Two panes of acrylic filled with water and four supports added on the side. It's designed to be really sturdy and support its own weight. I also tapped a bolt into one of the borders so that it comes into electrical contact with the water. There you have a totally solid Curlian setup, though it could probably be built with a simpler design, but this will allow for some phenomenal Curlian photography. And all that's left is to now just attach this to its high voltage power source. You need at least 10,000 volts at several kilohertz. I'm using 20,000 volts at 15 kilohertz.
this type of photography, to call it mystical it is nothing short of an understatement. I mean, you saw the footage, and as beautiful as it looks on screen, it is twice as beautiful in person. But because of how supernatural it looks, people have held the belief for decades that Curlian photography can be used to show the aura of a person or even the aura of a plant. Some people believe that by imaging a person's hands, you can see that person's emotional strengths and weaknesses based off the shape of the corona. Well, there's nothing spiritual about this. It's no less mystical. It's definitely a phenomenon, but it does not show your aura. It's just classic physics. It involves voltage and current, ionized gas, capacitors, frequencies, circuits. And as I mentioned earlier, capacitive coupling. It's a really groovy concept that I've talked about in a couple of my videos now, but capacitive coupling is the transfer of energy between one conductor to another that are separated by an insulator. It only works with AC electricity, but it works particularly well with high frequency, high voltage electricity. In this case, the water is one conductor, the acrylic is the insulator, and my hand or any other object I use is the other conductor. The AC electricity that goes into the water induces a charge on any conductive object that touches the acrylic. That beautiful purple corona that you see is an indication of this energy transfer. Now you have to admit, this is a really clever use of high voltage. And even though Curlian photography is primarily used for artistic expression and photographs, as the name suggests, there are a couple useful industrial applications as well. One of them being testing for weak spots in high voltage insulation. As this does involve high voltage, for your safety, only attempt this if you have experience using high voltage and you have a power source that delivers less than 5 milliamps. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it, because what I saw completely blew my mind. The, both the key and the slice of apple were incredible. So let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite object? Hands down, this is my favorite use of high voltage. Proof, as far as I'm concerned, that there's magic all around you. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.